Hello everybody, Melissa here at TCT Crafts Designs and Decor. I'm so happy to have you guys on our channel. Today we are going to be doing a deco mesh wreath. Um, it is going to be gingerbread themed. So before we get started, I want to go over some of the supplies um, that we're going to be using on this wreath today. We will have a few kits available. So if you want to make the same design or something very similar using the products that we're using, we will have a few kits available. Um, I will have all of the products in the kit listed down in the details of this um, or in the description of this video. Or you can uh, just scan this QR code. And that will take you directly to the link for the kit. Okay, so let's go over the supplies we're going to be using. We are going to be using a 24 inch pine wreath base. It is a double ring. We're going to be using just one roll of mesh, just this red and white um, fabric mesh. We're going to be using this adorable little gingerbread themed star ornament. We are going to be using our new gingerbread themed lollipops. And for greenery, we're just going to go in with this cypress and some of our red glitter sprays. And the ribbon we're going to be using today is this adorable gingerbread ribbon and our red and white Santa trimmed um, fair silk. So those are the supplies that we are going to be using. Again, we will have a limited um, number of kits if you're interested in that. So I'm going to go ahead and drop you guys down and we will get started. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is get our wreath base ready. I have fluffed up um, this 24 inch wreath base. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we've got our pine sort of fluffed up and I'm gonna go ahead and get the mesh added. Now, I'm not gonna do the whole thing with you guys, um, but in case you are new, I just wanted to show you how I do my mesh. Um, I do not measure uh, my mesh, so you definitely can, if you want to use a rotary cutter, you can lay it out and cut it, I'd say at least 22 inches. Um, but I do not measure, so I'm gonna show you what I do. I just drop it to the floor. Let me get my fabric scissors here. I just hold it up and I just cut it around my belly button. Okay, so that is how I cut. Well, let me show you how I well, let's do this up here. This is how I roll my mesh. I just hold it up and I just roll the ends under just to kind of keep it from fraying. And then I will just take, we're just going to go around the outside first. And I'm just going to push that all the way down to that middle ring and twist. Okay, I'll get another one. I'm just going to scrunch it up. Now I'm not going to put these super tight together. I'm going to leave just a little bit of space. We will have some greenery going in here. And twist. Okay. So I'm going to do that same thing all the way around. If I have any pieces left, I'll put a couple in the center. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, filled up with our mesh and then we will be right back. Okay, so I have our wreath base, one roll of mesh all the way, and you can see this is nice, thick um, mesh, so it has filled our wreath base up nicely. Now I'm just going to elongate my wreath base. This is completely optional, um, but I'm just gonna push it down a little bit. Sorry for the top of my head. Um, but I'm just going to give it more of an elongated look. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to get our little ornament. I think we're going to have it hanging kind of right here at the top. So I think what I'm going to do is just take one of these pine ties here and just twist it. I want it just to kind of hang like an ornament would right there in the center. Okay. And we can add just a dab of glue on that 
just to make sure it's not gonna come out, but it shouldn't. Okay. Now I think we're gonna do like a bow right here and maybe one right over here. So I'm going to set that to the side and let me get my bow maker out. We're gonna go ahead and get our bow. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this two and a half inch adorable gingerbread ribbon. I'm gonna give it about a 16 inch tail so we can trim it down. as we need to once we get it on the wreath. I'm gonna go in about seven and a half inches on my loops here. Okay. And again, I'm gonna do seven and a half. I'm going to cut that long, leave it long. I'm not worried too much about the fact that this pattern is upside down on this tail, but if you are one that doesn't um, like that, you can just snip it and you can add your tail back in later. Okay, so let's go in with our one inch. Parasil. And I'm going to go about six inches on our center here. And again, I'm going to go six inches. I'm going to get a zip tie and a pipe cleaner. I'm not going to wrap it on a pick this time. Normally I would wrap it on a pick and we would anchor our bow, but I think with this deco mesh design, we're just going to tie it in. I'm just putting that pipe cleaner right through there, giving out a good tie. Okay, I want to I want to eyeball this before we make our next bow. Um, so this one's going to sit right about here. So I think I want to make maybe a smaller, a smaller little bow to go up here. So that's what I wanted to, that's what I wanted to check out. So let's put this back. And I'm going to do a tail up. I'm going to do about an eight inch tail up. I'm going to go, I'm doing this smaller, so let's do about a six inch loop. Do a six inch loop and a smaller tail down. Do a tail up. 
I'm going to go about five inches. Okay, I'm going to take this out for a second. I think I want to add another. I'm going to do tail up. I'm going to do another um, loop of this. Now let's get this back in. All right. I go in with my zip tie here. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and just run through the back and tie that off. All right, I may add some tails on this design as well, but I'm going to set this aside for now. Let's get these bows added. So this one I want right about here. So I'm just going to run that pipe cleaner through that ring. Okay. And then we'll get our other one. I'm just going to go around the, the ring. So I'm just going, taking this pipe cleaner through the ring and tying it, tying it off. Okay. Now we got a swash, but we'll fix it. Now I'm going to wait on Cutting our dovetails till the end. Okay, I think we're gonna go ahead and add a few tails around our design. So I do not measure my tails. I just kind of put them in there. So we're gonna do just a couple with just our gingerbread. And then we'll add a couple little bits of our red. So we'll do maybe every other one. We'll add a little loop of our red. Okay. So I'm not going to tie that one too tight because we'll get our... And we'll give those a dovetail after, dovetail after we get our um, our greenery added. So I know, let's do like a little, just a small little loop of the red. That little baby, baby loop. Just going to kind of fold that red one under. We'll cut those shorter once we get our greenery added. We've got a bow there, so I don't need to do anything there. So 
But if I just did the red there, the red loop on, you guys can see I just did the red loop on this side. I'll do it opposite on this side. So this one will just do the gingerbread. And then this one will do the, the gingerbread and our little red loop. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick that in there. And that should be enough ribbon. So you'll still have uh, a little less than half. You can make a bow, um, use it for another project. I'm just going to make a little, a little loop here. I'm going to cut this a little short because I had the other ones a little shorter. Red. Again, I don't measure them. Where does the eyeball in? Okay, so I think that's enough on our ribbon. Let's get our greenery and our little red spray to add it. And you'll still have um, quite a bit of the red left too for another project. And we also have um, our little lollipops to add. So this is how our wreath will hang on the door because this is our little ornament that's hanging here. Let's get our lollipops. Let's see where I want them before we worry about gluing them in. Kind of thinking one in this area, up by our bow. Either there or up here. Oh, I like that up there too. Just gonna eyeball it first before we glue. I wanna play with the placement. So the bad thing about working with mesh sometimes is it limits you from pushing that in there. I think that'll be cute if we do it right there. Okay, so we're going to commit to that. So I'm going to take and just take two of these pine branches and twist around, twist around our lollipop and hit it with some glue. Well, I keep forgetting to change my shoes before I do the video, so you guys are getting to see my, my work crocs on here. Gotta love you some work crocs. All right, I'm gonna take this one and find my little stem here and just twist that around there. And I want it pushed down in there really good. I don't want it sticking too far out from our wreath. Okay, let's do this one. Just taking our greenery ties here, and twisting that. And then I'm gonna flip it over in a second too and just make sure it's not poking out the back of my wreath. Y'all make sure you check the back of your wreaths and make sure your mechanics aren't sticking out. And see, let me show you. See that one's sticking out. So we need to trim it. we go. Oh, this one too. There we go. Just cleaning up our bags. Okay, we'll trim up our tails in a minute. I'll get our greenery added. Cute. Okay, now let's go in with our Cypress. And 
I'm just going to cut these into little pieces. So you can just take and cut the little leaves off. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, I'm going to cut all these up. I'm going to cut two of them. And then we will be right back. Okay, so I have put two of our cypress sprays up into little pieces. And we are just going to start getting these added. So the first thing I want to do is kind of go up underneath our bow. And get it anchored. I'm just going to go north, south, east, west, all around, all around our bow. Just sticking that, making sure it's connecting to the pine. Now we're just going to start going around our wreath. I'm going to go towards the outside and just get some of these little pieces added. Now this one, I think I'm going to go up underneath our tail. We might need more than two of these. We'll see. I'm starting with two. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing this all the way around. I'm going to go towards the outside and I'll tuck a few towards the inside. So I'm just going to get these added and we will be right back. Okay, so I've got these cut up. I've got two of them. We're going to just make it work with two. So we're just going to space accordingly. I'm going to go right up underneath our bow with that one. And make it a little, a little piece kind of to go right in our center. Just going to start kind of spacing these throughout. I'm going to go right up underneath the lollipop here on this one. Go right there. Go underneath the lollipop on that one as well. I'm pushing that down in there. I don't want it sticking out too, too far. hit that with a little bit of glue because I kind of pulled on it a little bit. Okay, a few more pieces here. Let's go underneath this lollipop. I'm going to get a shorter piece, I think, on this one. Okay, let's get a couple pieces towards the center of our design here. And then we will get our ribbons cleaned up and cut down. Okay. 
if we'll add them right there. All right, it's looking beautiful. Okay, so my red ribbons, I'm just gonna fold under the ends. And then I'm gonna give my gingerbread ribbon just a dovetail. Okay, y'all, here is our finished wreath design. I think it turned out super cute. Get it a little bit closer for you guys. I'll get it hung up and get some pictures. If you are a new watcher, we would love to have you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. And if you're enjoying all of our tutorials and you would like to join our membership group, we do have a membership group less than a cup of coffee every month where you'll get some exclusive tutorials just in the group. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, we will have a couple of these wreath kits available if you're interested. Um, until next time, bye y'all.